Okay, in this example, we're going to find the area and the perimeter of this composite figure below. So we've got a parallelogram, and on top of that, we've got a rectangle. So the rectangle has a height of 6 and a width of 4. And likewise, the parallelogram has a width of 4, and it has side lengths of 12. So let's do the perimeter first. I think that's probably a little more straightforward. Neither one is really too bad. It's just kind of a matter of knowing formulas. Okay, so for my rectangle, let me just redraw this figure real quick. Okay, it's got a height of 6, so it's got a width of 4, so this width will also be 4 and 6. We said the parallelogram has a side length of 12, so this one will also be 12. And then we said, again, since it had a width of 4, this bottom width will also be 4. So to find the perimeter, it's just a matter of adding all those values up. So we've got 4 plus 6 plus 6. We've got 12 plus 12. And then the value of 4 at the bottom. So let's see. Uh, 4 plus 6, that's going to give us 10. Uh, 6 plus 12, that's going to give us 18. 12 plus 4, that's going to give us 16. Let's see, 10 plus 18, that's 28. And 28 plus 16, that's going to give us the value of 44. So the distance around this figure or the perimeter is going to be 44 units. So let's figure out the area. So the area is going to be the area of the rectangle. plus the area of the parallelogram, okay, so the area of the rectangle well, the area of the rectangle, that's just the length times the width well, label them however you want to, it's going to be 6 multiplied by 4 so the area of the rectangle is going to be 24 units. To get the area of the pa parallelogram, recall that the area of a parallelogram, that's going to be equal to the base times the height. Well, we had in the original picture, they actually gave us the height. So the base of this is going to have a, a length of 4 units. And we said that the height of this parallelogram, that was given to us as 9.5. So let's see, 4 multiplied by 9.5, that's going to give us 38. So the area in total is going to be 24 units plus 38 units. So the area of the figure, so the area of the composite figure, That's going to be 24 plus 38, and 24 plus 38, that's going to give us a value of 62. So nothing too bad, again, just kind of knowing formulas. And again, you'll be given the, the formula um, for, the, for the parallelogram uh, as well as the, uh, the rectangle on the exam in case you forget them.